Hi, my name is Darius White. I've been at Inverito for seven years. I'm in the mechanical engineering program. I teach courses in vibrations, control systems, clean energy systems, hybrid vehicles. I teach a lot of project-based design courses related to hybrid vehicles and renewable energy systems. Well, Inverito has a very applied history. We've uh, always been involved with the application of technology rather than pure research. Uh, the EcoCar project is a perfect example of where we've taken an idea and we've actually implemented it. So it's not just a theory on a piece of paper, it's actually something we've developed and implemented and tested and proven. EcoCar is a three-year competition sponsored by the Department of Energy and General Motors. As part of this competition we took a standard SUV and we converted it into a, a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Our vehicle runs on electric only power for about 25 miles and then beyond that it runs on a biodiesel engine which we actually have uh, installed a biodiesel conversion station and we take waste off from the cafeteria and we make our own biodiesel to power this vehicle. As we move forward into EcoCar 2, which is another three-year competition, we'll take a, a new vehicle, which will be a Chevy Malibu, and we'll convert that into a plug-in hybrid vehicle with a similar architecture, but we're trying to improve the efficiency and control strategies. As part of this project, our students have designed a system called the IDEA system, which is a, a patent-pending system that takes extra information from GPS, from uh, inf information from the internet on traffic, and optimizes the control system. And we're using an adaptive control strategy. Our plan for EcoCar 2 is to continue to expand this technology and uh, perhaps commercialize it. Our faculty and students have been working with a number of different groups to extract energy from the ocean. The Earth's surface is composed of about 70% water, so it makes a lot of sense to attempt to use those resources to produce energy. There's a lot of energy resources available. And uh, we have some faculty and students that are working on a project to use uh, cold ocean water to produce air conditioning uh, and electricity. We have another group of faculty that are working on producing clean drinking water using solar and wind power. The Gulf Stream Project is a project that we're working on in collaboration with the Southeast National Marine Renewable Energy Center. And uh, th for this project, we're designing a turbine that it produces electricity from the kinetic energy of the Gulf Stream. Now, this system can produce about enough electricity to produce about a third of the electricity needs for Florida. So it has a significant amount of uh, opportunity to reduce our uh, dependence on foreign resources. Florida, in particular, imports about 98% of our fuel stock for electricity. So being able to produce our own domestic uh, energy resource in Florida is a big deal. We're also working on advanced control systems to put multiple turbines into the Gulf Stream and have them communicate and optimize their uh, performance. As part of this project, uh, we have been collaborating with the DOE and the Florida Atlantic University into the design of uh, different rotors and uh, improving the hydrodynamics of the system and improving the efficiency of the system. Uh, we are doing a research project with the National Renewable Energy Laboratory where we're designing and developing uh, fatigue test systems for large uh, composite structures. The system will be applied to large wind turbine blades. Uh, some wind turbine blades can be as long as 70 meters long, weigh 50,000 pounds. And they're largely made out of composite material, which is expensive and it's important to optimize the design of these structures. So we're designing, in conjunction with the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, uh, equipment to design and test uh, wind turbine blades uh, that are for multi-megawatt applications. The sustainability is about designing a more efficient system and in this case in the aviation industry we're looking at several different systems including the design of the aircraft, the manufacturing of the aircraft and the usage of the aircraft in, in, uh, in the market. And that would include improved manufacturing techniques such as additive manufacturing, the refinement of the aircraft through the implementation of more efficient electric motors, for example, for the control surfaces, and then the reduction of uh, carbon emissions through the improvement of the air traffic management system so that your, the airplanes are taxing less and you get more bang for your buck.